There's a big problem with Apple's face scanning, but it's not what you think. After Apple's latest announcements, lots of people have been talking about problems with the technology, but I don't care about that. Here's the thing. Even if the technology is perfect, you still don't want to use your face as your password on iPhone or any other phone. At least not if you're concerned about security. And here's why. Right now in the US and many other countries, a court cannot compel you to divulge information that you know, like a password. But they can compel you to submit to fingerprinting or face scanning. If your phone is encrypted and locked with a password, your data is safe. Even with a warrant, police can't force you to tell them the password. But they can, if they have a warrant, force you to hold your phone up to your face and scan it. Now, maybe you don't care about that. You're not worried about police because you have nothing to hide. But innocent people get arrested all the time. And here's the thing, the police aren't going to use the data on your phone to help you. There's a reason criminal lawyers all say you shouldn't talk to police, even if you're innocent. I'm proud to admit, on camera and on the internet, that I will never talk to any police officer under any circumstances. You don't say anything, you don't do anything, you don't write anything, do you hear me? The police are looking to build a case against you, not exonerate you. Until you've spoken with a lawyer, talking to the police will likely hurt you, even if you're innocent. That's why you talk to a lawyer first. The same is true of phone data. Even if your phone data totally exonerates you, you should talk to a lawyer before handing it over to police. If your phone's protected with a password, you'll have that choice. If it's protected with your face, you probably won't.